so we made it uh, this place I don't think I've ever been to this wire housing I couldn't find uh, I couldn't find where they were loading this stuff there's another plant over there somewhere called something else um, they make fiberboard or something over there I don't know man it was uh, it was uh, uh, not an easy place to find but anyway I may have been here before I don't know man I got, I've been to so many of these places not even funny but uh, we're gonna get loaded here in a minute I guess I'm they're loading a the guy in front of me but uh, man this morning I went to bed last night, dude. So Cinco de Mayo, I hope you had a good one. And uh, the place I stopped at last night, the TA, uh, I went in and asked the lady if there were any restaurants in the area and she said there was a Mexican restaurant just down the road, it was walking distance, man. And uh, they were having a party. They had a band out there and everything. And uh, so I went in, there was no sitting room. I had to sit at the bar, which was fine. I was by myself, I didn't care. But I can't, I went back to the truck last night, crawled right in a bunk, went right to sleep. It wasn't even dark outside. But we're gonna get loaded here in a minute and do some securement. Yeah, buddy, we're loaded. Not too bad. That'll ride nice. I'll have a little bit of blah there, but it'll be all right. Come back here. Get there. All right. So when you're when you're doing something linear like this, you're gonna want to throw to both sides. So I've got four winches on this side. So four straps that I throw are gonna be to this side. So I'll throw one here. I'll throw. I'll come back to the other side and throw one over. Yeah. Now the reason why we do that is because you're you'll be pulling from both sides if you do it that way. You don't want to just pull to one side. You go around a corner and you're pulled to one side, everything could go whoop, right down the corner. Everything is loaded. Load, load, load. Uh, let's go to the other side. I think today, on the way to wherever we're gonna stop today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about distracted driving. And I got a picture to show you. Now see, I've got one this way, one this way, and there'll be another one in the middle that, that'll come from that side to this side. So we have left. I had to wait for my GoPro to charge back up before I could use it again. Which was unfortunate because we went across a bay it's actually a sound but uh it was big and huge and the ocean was right over there and i missed that sucker on my gopro oh well that's all right we got to go across Chesapeake bay uh to get where we're going so not bad huh we'll see it then um this might be part of this is a lot smaller than what it was a while ago but yeah i think it's just might be an overflow or whatnot but anyway i wanted to talk about distracted driving 
Alright, so when you're out here, okay, so like I'm hauling wood right now and it's 47,000 something pounds and you can add another almost 30,000 pounds to that. I'm almost 80,000 pounds, right? That's our max weight for this truck and what we haul and that kind of stuff. 80,000 pounds. Now, if you're wondering what 80,000 pounds will do to another car, uh, they will flatten another car at any, just about any speed. Okay, there's no fender benders when you're running 45 miles an hour and, and a car in front of you slams on their brakes. That's not a fender bender. That's, that's, that's flattened you got to pay attention out here and you have to be alert you have to pay attention right it it, it only takes a, a millisecond and and either you're hurt or somebody else is hurt and that doesn't that's not good for anybody right so when you're when you're driving in your vehicle if you're not a truck driver or if you are a truck driver and you're driving you know don't get distracted keep your eyes on the road and I don't I want you guys to be safe when you come out here I know I've had a couple of people tell me that they were they were gonna come out here and do this trucking thing I want you to be safe I want you to keep everybody else safe because I want everybody to go home at the end of the day all right I really do I want I want to go home I want that person in that car over there that just passed me to go home all three of those cars the ones in front of me all of them right I don't want to be the cause and I don't want them to be the cause of an accident out here that that takes one of our lives I really don't I just want to deliver the freight and be safe but uh, you know when you're in your vehicle for those of you who aren't truck driving give your truck driver a little bit of space you know don't tailgate them get off of them for a minute Okay, you're not going to push them down the road any faster than what you're going. Than what they're going. You're not. You're not that big. Okay. When you when you get around them, you know, go on up the, the road a little bit and then turn in. Give them a little space. Right? I, I, the, we need space. Everybody does. So, just my thoughts on distracted driving. Let's get on down the road. I'll show you some stuff from from Chesapeake Bay, let's go.